Well, happy Friday, everybody. Glad you've joined me for today's devotion. Hope you're looking forward to a a great holiday weekend as we celebrate Independence Day. I want to remind everyone that Sunday morning here at First Baptist, we will have our regular schedule, all three worship services and life groups, and I will be preaching a message on religious liberty. And then Sunday evening, we're going to come back and have a special service celebrating freedom, recognizing veterans, and just uh, a patriotic celebration. So that'll be Sunday evening. I want you to participate in that and kick off your Independence Day celebration in grand style. Well, today we are in 1 Corinthians 3. In this chapter, um, Paul makes it really clear that the believers in the city of Corinth are immature. He calls them, even though they've been saved for some time, baby Christians. They haven't grown up any. And they're very divided. And as you read the book of Corinthians, it becomes obvious they are divided and fighting with one another over a lot of different things. Um, And the verse that stood out to me, and and, and I think is really, really sad, is verse 3. So look at it. He said, you are still fleshly. For since there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not fleshly? And here's the part that I thought was really sad. Are you not walking like mere men? So he's writing to this church of believers, Christians, and he says you're walking, living like mere men, not like spiritual people, not like saved people, just like ordinary mere men and women. And that is a really sad statement. He ended the previous chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 16, at the end of that verse by saying, uh, we have the mind of Christ. And because we have the mind of Christ in us through the indwelling of His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, as believers, we're able to understand and welcome spiritual truth, God's wisdom, into our lives, and that changes how we are to live. He also makes it clear in verse 14 of the previous chapter, chapter 2, that the natural man, mere men, those who are not disciples, they don't welcome God's wisdom and truth into their lives, and therefore they don't live like a follower of Christ. And so he comes to chapter 3 and looks at these and says, you're you're not acting like spiritual people. You're not acting like people who have the mind of Christ, the Spirit of God in you. You're acting like mere men, natural men, And um, he says there are two reasons for that. One is their lack of of actual growth, their their, their lack of spiritual development and development of Christian character, of the fruit of the Spirit. Look in verses 1 and 2. He said, And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual men. I, I want to write to you and talk to you like you're spiritual, but I can't. But I have to talk to you like you're men of the flesh. Infants in Christ. He said, I'd like to talk to you like mature, growing Christians, but I can't. i got to talk to you like you're babies, like you are just men of the flesh, men of the world. Verse 2, he said, I gave you milk to drink and not solid food, for you were not yet able to receive it. And indeed, even now you are not yet able. They've been saved for a long time. And Paul says, I still got to put you on the bottle, on baby food. I I can't give you anything solid to eat, even though you should be eating solid food now. You may be five years old or ten years old, but you're still acting like a six-month-old. He says, for you're still fleshly. So one reason, one reason Paul said you're acting like mere men is they have not grown in Christian maturity and Christ-likeness. And the second is what we read in the middle of verse 3, all the jealousy and strife among them. So when you're not growing and you're jealous of others and and, and you're you're criticizing others and there's conflict, he said that's evidence that you're not maturing, you're not growing, you're not not acting like spiritual people, saved people, you're acting like natural mere men, like lost people. Now, let me apply this couple ways in our lives. Something we need to stop and something we need to start. We need to stop posting criticisms 
of every little thing about the church on Facebook and so on. Now, I'm not talking about uh, moral failure. I'm talking about some program changes or something happens that you don't like. It's just a, it's not a moral thing. It's just, it's just an incidental program thing and you don't like it. Um, and you go to Facebook and complain out in front of the whole world about how bad your church is because of that one silly, simple little thing. That's, that's not showing any maturity. That's infantile. That's acting like babies, like mere men, like unspiritual people. Again, I, we're not talking about moral failure like you know sex abuse or stealing from the church. We're talking about you don't like this or you don't like that and you put it on Facebook. Grow up. Stop that. That's the jealousy, the strife, the complaining. What, what do you think lost people in the community who see your Facebook post think about the church and think about Jesus and think about you when they see you do that on Facebook? Stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ, stop it. Now the start. Start growing. Start growing spiritually. Start growing in God's wisdom. Start growing in your engagement with God's word so you can encounter Jesus and be transformed by him. Start, start, start looking and acting more like Jesus. Start demonstrating that the fruit of the Spirit is actually being developed in your life. And if you don't know what the fruit of the Spirit is, okay, that's, an ev that's, that's a sign. Maybe you need to grow a little bit in your engagement of God's Word. Galatians 5, go read it. Stop criticizing everything in public and start growing spiritually because that's what spiritual people do. They, they receive the wisdom of God. But those of us who are not growing, we just act like everybody else. And God says, stop it and start growing. So if, you, if, 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 if I were to, I'm not on Facebook, but let's say I was. And if I were to go back and look at your Facebook post for the last year, what would I think? <laughs> well, God already knows what's on your Facebook. And I wonder what he thinks. And are you growing? Are you changing? Are you becoming more obedient? Are you looking more and more like Jesus? That's what mature saints do. Don't stay a baby. Grow up. It's, a, it's, it's, such a, it's such a better way to live. Such a better way to live. Well, this is the Friday before Independence Day. Hope you have a good weekend, but I hope you also grow in Jesus. Hey, God bless you, and I'll see you Sunday and then next Monday with another devotion.